Most Reverend Father in God, we request you to take the appointed oaths. The Anglican Church in North America is part of the one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, worshiping the one true God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. It professes the faith uniquely revealed in the Holy Scriptures and set forth in the Catholic creeds which faith the Church is called upon to proclaim afresh in each generation. Led by the Holy Spirit, it has borne witness to Christian truth in its historic formularies, the 39 Articles of Religion, the Book of Common Prayer, and the ordering of bishops, priests, and deacons. In the declaration you are about to make, Will you affirm your loyalty to this inheritance of faith as your inspiration and guidance under God in bringing the grace and truth of Christ to this generation and making him known to those in your care? I, Robert William Duncan, do so affirm and accordingly declare my belief in the faith which is revealed in the Holy Scriptures set forth in the Catholic creeds, embraced in the Jerusalem Declaration, and to which the fundamental declarations of this province bear witness. And in public prayer and administration of the sacraments, I will use only the forms of service which are authorized or allowed by canon. Further, I do solemnly declare that I do believe the Holy Scriptures of the Old and New Testaments to be the Word of God and to contain all things necessary to salvation. And I consequently hold myself bound to conform my life and ministry thereto. And I do solemnly engage to conform to the doctrine, discipline, and worship of Christ as this Church has received them. Most Reverend Father in God, I now ask you to declare that you will faithfully serve this province of the Anglican Church in North America, consistent with conciliar decisions of confessing Anglican archbishops and bishops worldwide, defending its rights and statutes, and preserving its liberties. In the name of God, I will. I, Robert William Duncan, by divine providence, Archbishop and Primate of the Anglican Church in North America, promise that as much as in me lies, I will be a faithful pastor to the bishops, clergy, and people of this province, that we may all be equipped for the work in God's service and built up in the body of Christ and furthermore, I do solemnly declare that I shall faithfully and accountably serve in the councils of confessing Anglicans globally and shall dutifully observe and keep the statutes, ordinances, and customs and preserve the liberties of the churches and people entrusted to me and shall set forward and promote such works as may be fitly done therein for the service of God, for the benefit of the church, and for the extension of the kingdom of God. So help me God and these gospels. My brothers and sisters, will you pray for me today and in the days to come that I may know God's grace in the task which lies before me and do all things in his strength alone. We will, for the help of God. Archbishop Danikan, I anoint you with this holy oil and assign you afresh with the sign of Christ. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In token that you are set aside and consecrated as 
a deacon to serve the church of God and to work with its members in caring for the poor, the needy, the sick, and all who are in trouble. As a priest, to work with those, with other bishops, and with your fellow priests, a servant and a shepherd among the people of this diocese to proclaim the word of the Lord and to call everyone to repent and turn to the Lord. And as a bishop, to be chief missionary within the church, whose every member is called to be a missionary, to lead in serving and caring for the people of God and to work with them in the oversight of the church and to further its unity, to uphold its discipline, to guard its faith and to interpret the gospel of Christ. You are to know your people and be known by them. Bishop Duncan, may your mind always think of Christ. Duncan, may your lips always speak of Christ. Brother Duncan, may your aunt always be ready to bless may your aunts always be ready to heal in the name of christ and may your life be filled with the power of the holy spirit amen, amen. amen. archbishop duncan receive this cross Keep watch over the flock which, over which God has appointed you, shepherd. Encourage the faithful, restore the lost, build up the body of Christ, that when the chief shepherd shall appear, you may receive the unfading crown of glory. My brothers and sisters in Christ, I present to you Archbishop Robert William Duncan, our Archbishop and Father in God. Receive him in love and obey him in truth, that together we may give ourselves to the purposes of God in this province, to the praise and glory of his name. Amen. Let everything you do be done in love.